When the candidates for Jefferson Parish president asked each other questions on our live debate last night, a question about a cyanide facility sparked some fireworks. Check it out. You exercise poor judgment. You didn't do your homework. Number two, you're misrepresenting the facts to the people of Jefferson Parish. The fact is that ammonia plant wasn't even conceived until 2013. I was parish president. It was led by, it, wait, wait, it was led by Bobby Jindal, you voted for that on the council. I didn't have any vote. I was parish president. This is president. a picture of Mr. Yes, Young I at don't the groundbreaking. I, I, I at don't, Cornerstone wait, wait, let me finish. Let me finish. So, you had, your, you had must, your time. Let me finish. You don't have to touch me, Mr. No, Young. But let me finish. It's my time right you, now. You don't need to touch me. John Young asked Cynthia Lee Shang if she would uh, continue to oppose the construction of a cyanide plant in Wagaman. They threw accusations and facts at each other, as you heard there. So tonight, Tan Trung is verifying the accuracy of the candidates' claims. With pressure. Here's John Young asking uh, Cynthia Lee Shang the question that set it all off. Will you commit tonight to the people of Jefferson Parish that you will maintain your opposition to the construction of a $100 million cyanide plant in Wagaman, Louisiana. Li Sheng didn't say yes or no. She said litigation between the so-called cyanide plant and the parish will dictate the future of the project. The council did vote for storage of cyanide and then we did rescind that vote. We can verify that's true. Li Sheng and the rest of the council voted in January of 2018 in favor of the company Cornerstone to expand in Wagaman. But 15 months later, after a lot of public outcry, the council, including Sheng, rescinded the company's permit. But I have to point out the hypocrisy of Mr. Young, who also voted for that measure. Not only did he vote for that measure for the expansion of this chemical facility, he was at the groundbreaking for these three companies for a billion dollar investment. To further make her point, Lee Sheng pulled up a photo. It was led by Bobby Jindal. You voted for that on the council. I didn't have any vote. I was parish president. This is president. a picture of Mr. Yes, Young I at the groundbreaking. Her first statement is false. John Young never voted in the cyanide plant debate. He was parish president in 2013. Parish presidents don't vote on issues before the council. We can verify it's true that Young was at the groundbreaking, but it was for a different company called Dino Nobel to build an ammonia plant on the same site in Wagaman. Yeah. One day after announcing the deal, there was a massive explosion at an ammonia plant in Texas. Young was in our studios defending the safety of the future ammonia plant. And in fact, at the announcement yesterday, they stressed that this plant, once it's built in Jefferson Parish in the state of Louisiana, companies from all over the world will come to see how this plant operates. As for the Cornerstone site, it's been producing chemicals, including cyanide, since 1952. In expansion plants, the company said it would not produce any more cyanide than it does now. The public's opposition, and now from these two candidates, is against chemicals that have been in the parish for decades. Tom Trung, Eyewitness News. In case you missed it, you can watch the full debate on our website, www.tv.com.